Once uh, the eggs are ready for uh, uh, retrieval, uh, they are retrieved through vaginal ultrasound and a needle procedure under uh, deep sedation uh, and usually you would go home the same day. Uh, if you are aiming at freezing your eggs, then the mature eggs will be frozen on that day. Uh, and if you aim at uh, um, using them to immediately get pregnant, then they are fertilized using partner sperm or donor sperm. IVF enables us to do uh, many other things that can enhance your fertility or accomplish a specific goal. Uh, uh, if your partner has male factor infertility, uh, fertilization can be aided through injection of the sperm directly into the egg uh, and that will uh, uh, solve the majority of difficult fertilization cases. Uh, so the majority of fertilization issues would be solved by injecting directly the sperm into the egg. The embryos are then cultured in the lab for a variable uh, number of days. Uh, usually three, four, or five days. Uh, on the third day of uh, a culture in the labs, the embryos are uh, observed and they are um, uh, uh, graded uh, according to their quality. Uh, and uh, a procedure called assisted hatching can be performed. Uh, if the uh, shell of the egg is thick, it can be uh, uh, thinned out or cut to aid in implantation uh, and uh, that can help some cases of uh, uh, difficult implantation uh, or no implantation in the past. Uh, the embryos can also be cultured further to day five or the blastocyst stage. Blastocyst culture is uh, 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 another uh, uh, additional procedure that we can combine with IVF. The embryos are cultured further than day three to day uh, five or six sometimes uh, after retrieval. Uh, we aim at uh, observing the embryos more in culture. Uh, that will enable us to select the better embryos to transfer back and hopefully allow us to transfer fewer number of embryos into uh, the uterus. Many other things could also be done. Uh, uh, on the genetic side, uh, one or few cells can be biopsied from the embryo, taken from the embryo on day three or on day five and submitted for genetic analysis. Uh, the aim of genetic analysis could be uh, avoiding transmission of single gene problems, a specific genetic problem to the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the family to children. Uh, it could also be used to uh, uh, determine the sex of the embryo, whether a male or female, uh, in cases of sex selection. And sometimes it can be used to test all the chromosomal abnormalities, all the chromosomes in the embryo, uh, so that hopefully we would transfer the normal embryo uh, uh, first and achieve pregnancy faster. Uh, although uh, the merits for uh, transferring all, or for uh, testing all the chromosomes of the embryo um, uh, uh, is an area of intense investigation. It might be helpful in uh, parents that have uh, chromosomal abnormalities uh, like translocation that can be transmitted to the baby and uh, women with recurrent pregnancy loss and uh, sometimes women with uh, repeated failure of implantation with a large number of embryos.